Hi guys and welcome to the video training of Node.js. I am super excited to share this information with you and the module which we will be using for querying who is servers. So what is a who is server? A who is server is set up by an ICANN accredited registrar to acquire up to date information about domains that are registered within it. Every ICANN registrar is mandated to maintain a who is server according to the ICANN agreement. You might be wondering what is ICANN? So if you google you will come across this website of ICANN archives. Ar ICANN stands for Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. This organization was formed in 1998. It is a non-profit corporation that has responsibility for internet protocol address, space allocation, protocol identifier assignment, generic and country code, top level domain name system management and root server system management function. These services were originally performed under US government contract by the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority and other entities. ICANN now performs the IANA function. So let's, I hope that you have got the basic ideas of what is ICANN. There is a directory of internet who is servers. Who is servers return information about ownership and location of internet host names and IP numbers. There is a list of who is servers on the University of Utah website. So that is their math department. So if I open this website you can see there's a long list of who is servers by domain name okay directory of who is uh, this is name there is another website nirsoft.net it also have the list of who is servers as well so what happens when you enter a domain name into your browser? Your browser will ask different servers until one of them finds your answer. So let's say when you type domain.org in your browser, the server request sent to a domain name server and it said, I don't know, ask them. They forwarded your request to other servers that are org servers and they said, we don't know either. Then this forwarded your request to the third party domain.org server and that party had the matching result and it said yes I found it and it is located at 192.0.2.0 this is the IP address of the actual machine which holds this website that is your web server so this is the whole process of DNS query okay there is another diagram which shows how client server and data store interacts sends <coughs> client sends who is query for ican org server fetches all relevant records for ican.org from official database server returns information such as the contact person and technical configuration for the domain server returns the public information via a structured format as the who is query result We are going to implement a query uh, application which will be accessing the Whois server and the module which we are going to use is Whois or Whoiser is a Whois client for Node.js that helps with querying Whois servers for TLDs, domain names as numbers, AS numbers and IPs. It has support for auto discovery who is servers for TLDs and IPS locators. Making it easy to get who is info with a single call like who is there and passing in the domain name or who is there and passing in the IP address. It applies minimal parsing to results returning same data format from different who is servers. Some of the highlights of this modules are returns who is info for any internet address requires zero config but configurable when needed it recognizes queries and routes the request to correct server 
it min it is it has minimal parsing to provide consistent results across whois servers it uses whois servers from ayana if not provided discover all available tlds so let's get started first of all let go to the console and create a project directory let me call it node who is okay so let me set the permissions for this folder node who is okay let's get into this folder and the first things first we need to initialize the package.json file before doing anything else so just run npm in it and pass in y if you don't want to answer those questions asked by the initializer so that's it we have the package.json file and now we are ready to install our module that is who is there so i'm going to install it npm i who is there i stands for install and okay so we have installed the who is a file and the library has a simple api use who is query with any query you would want or use specific functions with options like who is a dot domain passing in the domain name options who is a dot ip ip and options so let's get started with the first drill first drill is to get who is info for domains this function receives domain name and the options domain name can be anything like google.com and options can be like host default who is server from ayana time out who is server request time out default is 1500 milliseconds then follow how many who is servers to query you can pass in as many servers as you want and the last one is raw return the raw who is result in response so let's do our first program that is querying who is for domains i'm going to call this program uh query domains dot js okay let's define the constant who is there and require the wizard library and we are going to do it in the async block let to main info equals await who is er dot who is er just pass in the domain name and the other option is to send it with options for who is server and how many who is servers to query so in this one we can mention the who is servers as well so let domain info to equals await and who is er dot domain and here we are passing blog.google.com and the options host colon who is dot nic dot google and follow colon 1 okay and now let's print out the information returned by domain info object and the domain info to object here or we can do it a little in a little better way so just copy this and here we can add a separator line like this so we need we know there is a separation between the two informations and close the async block function and 
that's it save the file and we are ready to go so let's go into the console and run this program query domains.js okay there you go so we have all the information returned from the who is server and you can see we have the domain status and we have the name servers ns1.google.com till ns4.google.com we have the domain name we have the registry domain id we have the registrar who is server we have the updated date created date and the expiry date so google.com is expiring in 2028 and we have some other information like terms of use etc etc and similarly we have information for blog.google.com which have the same servers okay and here we have the blog information okay okay that was all about who is in for for domains let's move on to next drill that is getting who is info for ips so let's create another file and call it query ips.js copy the code from query domain.js and paste it here because the main structure will be same there will be just few amendments in this file and let's get rid of this okay so we are going to do let ip info equals equals await who is there and pass in the ip address there is another option for who is server so let us pass this to for another lookup query dot ip and pass in the ip address and here we are passing the options host who is dot arin dot net and let's console.log we have already have the console.log information here so we just change it to in ip info and ip info to save this file let's get back to the console and run query ips.js file just okay we have the results So the IP range 1.1.102.1.1.255 belongs to APNIC Labs, APNIC Research and Development, Cordillera Street. Country is AU Australia, I think it's Australia, not Austria. And assign pro table, it has all the address, yes, it's Australia. Brisbane we have the PO box number we have the email address abuse mailbox last modified we have the full address we have the phone number fax number etc etc okay and let's see about 8.0.0.0 range to 8.127255255 this belongs belongs to LVLT. The parent is Net8, and it is direct allocation. We have the organization name that is Level3 parent. Registration date is 1992, and it was last updated in 2018. We have the address as well, and it is located in United States in Los Angeles.
so we have all that information from the IP address that we passed in our program okay let's do another query this is drill number three and it is a s number who is don't worry about the terminology or the abbreviations like a s i r n a a r i n i'll explain those in a bit so don't worry about them just focus on the functionality and the working of this application or the pocs that we are practicing let's create another file and call this number dot number lookup dot js yeah let's copy this from there and paste it in number lookup dot js and this time we will be looking by asn number okay and let who is we know don't need this who is await who is there dot asn and we are going to pass the asn number that is one five one six nine and we are going to console dot log who is here we don't need these now save this file go to the console and run the program okay we got the results okay it is the as number is 15169 as name is google AS handle is AS15169, registration date is 2000, updated 2012, organization name is Google LLC, address is 1600 Parkway Mountain View CA, that's Google address. And in the comments it says, please note that the recommended way to file abuse complaints are located in the following links, google.com slash contact, we have the phone number and we have got this information okay if you like this video and found it interesting don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you need any professional help you can always contact me at gmail.com. you can visit my facebook page or you can visit my linkedin profile the source code of this project or this video training with all the three source code files will be available on my github repository so you can easily download them run npm install and execute them whenever you want and you want you can ex extend this uh, pocs in your applications or in your projects okay as i told you that don't worry about the abbreviations and the terms that you viewed during the uh, video training so ARIN stands for American Registry for Internet Numbers it is a non-profit member based organization that administers IP addresses and ASNs in support of the operation and growth of the internet the second term that we didn't explain was ASN lookup and information ASN are autonomous system numbers and it, it, they are routable networks within public internet administered by local RIRs and assigned to owners of networks and ICANN we, we have already defined ICANN it is the internet corporation for assigned names and numbers so I hope that you enjoyed and learned something from this video training See you next time with a new topic in Node.js.